How you doing guys? A little excited about this one because I love this stew. Um, I've done a juicy pork chop with a saffron white bean stew. You could leave the saffron out, not many people can get it, um, people don't like the taste of it, um, but it's still delicious without it. And also I've done a delicious pork stock. Beautiful. This dish requires a lot of patience, but it's well worth it. Enjoy. For this yummy pork stock, I'll be using pork tails, cheap as chips and packed full of flavour. Add olive oil to a pan, add pork tails, now cook until golden brown. When brown, add to a bowl. Pour out the fat, add pork tails back to the pan, followed by tomato paste. Now cook out for five minutes. Add garlic, carrots, celery, black peppercorns, and onion. Here, I'll be making a quick bouquet garnet with parsley, oregano, and thyme. Add to the pan, followed by water. Bring to a boil, then simmer for four hours. After four hours, strain and season to taste. Next, add tomatoes on the vine to a tray, followed by salt, olive oil, thyme and garlic. Now place in the oven and cook. Add up water to saffron and soak for 15 to 20 minutes. When soft, remove garlic and thyme. Also, make sure you keep the vine. This will add great flavour to the stew. When cool, remove skin. Dice carrots, celery and onion. Add olive oil to a pan. Add the carrot, celery and onion. Now sweat until soft. Add the vine, followed by tomatoes and garlic. Stir well. Add pork stock and reduce by half. At the end, add saffron, navy beans, season to taste, and remove the vine. For this recipe, I'll be using a pork loin rib chop. Season well on both sides. Add olive oil to a hot pan. Add the chop and cook. Now rest for at least five to six minutes. So there you have it, a delicious meal that you can make at home. I've already tucked in. Look at that, beautiful. Mm. I love that saffron. Mm.
it's gorgeous. Mmm.